Following the Cambodian Civil War, communist group Khmer Rouge carried out a mass genocide, killing 25% of the Cambodian population. They were heavily supported by Mao's China, with nearly 90% of their funding coming from them. The goal was to create a society that is self-reliant. Khmer Rouge wanted to remove anyone who had connections to Cambodia's previous government. They singled out people who wore glasses or spoke multiple languages because they wanted to remove stereotypically intelligent people from society. Over 50% of working-age men in Cambodia were killed in this genocide. Khmer Rouge started banning languages and forcibly removing people of various ethnic groups from their homes. Essentially, every person that was arrested under the regime was either brutally murdered or died an agonizing death of starvation or disease. They were also often worked to death in labor camps, mainly for agriculture. In one of their many prisons, 20,000 people were brought in, and only seven adults made it out by the end. The genocide began in 1975 and lasted for three years and eight months. It was brought to an end when Vietnam invaded Cambodia and brought down the Khmer regime. In 1979, the Canadian Workers' Communist Party denied that this genocide even happened and said it was made up by the USA. The Prime Minister Pol Pot was found guilty of genocide, but he managed to flee until 1997 and died under house arrest in 1998. The trial for the crimes against humanity of other members took many years to take place. The actual trial did not start until well into the 2000s, and many of the suspects were already in old age. In 2013, the Prime Minister of Cambodia made it illegal to deny that the genocide happened.